this is fucking wild um <laughs> i'm fascinated truly i'm fascinated by dj academics' taste in women it just fascinates me because he was somebody that did this whole like hard on thoughts thing which was odd he's obviously always you know sometimes he'll be on fucking fresh and fit barking at random only fans girls and insulting them and stuff and questioning their fucking you know um viability as good wives and shit he'd be there haranguing them for having crazy body counts and stuff just generally being very misogynistic when it comes to the women and having very high standards about the women that he dates and all that stuff right he's just you know very opinionated and all that stuff which is odd too considering how fat and ugly he looks right that he's got all these big opinions about women and shit where it's like hey most of the girls that you're smashing are only smashing you because you got money so why are you like, <laughs> why have you got all these standards and, and stuff like when most of the fucking snatch that you're getting is only because of your bank account anyways that being said the actual personalities or the kind of types he goes for are interesting because they all seem to be like he likes kind of very devious hood rat type of girls who seem to be a lot more street smart than him they seem to have maybe more life experiences whatever it may be and they always find a way to take advantage of him from from selena to the i think the other girl was like angelica or something and then to this one shay they all have a tendency to take advantage of him and just kind of run his pockets and he seems to not be able to kind of pull himself away from these girls even though even though especially with this shay girl she legitimately put his life in danger because there is an accusation out there that she was the one that was behind him getting um the attempted robbery because you know um, somebody came to try and rob academics at his house and people are suggesting that it was an inside job that shay knew the people that did it even though she fired back some shots and stuff and she was holding him down that it was almost some sort of weird inside job and obviously there was issues with her allegedly hitting academics mom and all this sort of nonsense so she done a she's done a lot of crazy shit to him but he still can't seem to let let herself let himself go. But this in, this video of Che recently on her Instagram live recording academics is legitimately hilarious because this is more proof to me or to anybody that needs to see it that academics isn't a prize, is it? He really isn't the prize, and it's really sad to see him in these compromising situations. But this might be a bit of his karma. This might be his karma for all the shit he said about people, for how judgmental he is, for how he feels like he's so right and certain about certain things, or all these views on women. All this. this might be part of his karma because this woman is legitimately ruining his life in real time, and he can't seem to get away from her. What the fuck are you talking about? It ain't nothing. It's all good. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are you even talking about right now? Huh? <laughs> Look at the prize. Look at the prize. Look at the fucking prize. Look at him. That house looks like it needs a fucking Hoover or something, right? The floor is fucking horrendous. Look at the fucking prize. Look at the prize. Look at him. Belly out lying down on his phone chatting shits to somebody look at him hair all messy like look at the prize that allegedly is meant to be the prize he looks horrendous and again somebody that has so many opinions on women and their looks and shit but makes absolutely zero effort zero effort to keep himself in any kind of tidy shape like god almighty academics bro look at what she's look at how she's got you looking on fucking stream fucking hell what are you talking about? <laughs> How she got him like this, man? Honestly, man. How she got him on here like this? Imagine calling yourself the prize. Imagine, like, you know, telling women what they can and cannot have. Like, imagine trying to dim down people's fucking expectations or standards and stuff. Imagine having all these big opinions and you look like this on a daily basis. That's the thing that really fucking has made me laugh so much, especially when you look with some of the content here online. I don't know if you call it red pill. I don't know if you just call it misogynistic content, whatever it is. All these all these guys online that have all these big opinions about women and stuff are usually the dorks and the nerds I found. It's really strange, isn't it, right? A lot of the guys that don't really have any real experience with women outside of when they were successful online. Because, you know, I think it's almost... um they all they kind of help each other right the girls out there that go for guys that act do it because 
they want a bit of the clout and obviously they want the money so clearly they kind of in a weird way help to inflate people like this as ego because i feel like you know if those girls didn't exist in their lives and maybe they wouldn't have such high opinion of themselves but i just find it really odd how judgmental they can be about women's just looks forget the money stuff it's the looks thing like they can laugh and snigger at somebody they can call them men they can take the piss out of their hair they weave their makeup and it's like bro this is what you're working with this is what you're working with when you're talking about other people like you're talking about girls having weird bbls and the this is not this and it's like bro like how much work would it take to 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 get academics to look like a fucking to look like a snack how much how much money would it take how much time on the table would he have to spend to get academics to look like a snack how base level because i'm not gonna lie like and again this is a crazy statement to put out there crazy hot take and i'm not even gonna pause it i think i think saucy santana looks better than fucking academics I think if Saucy Santana had to dress up in a masculine way and they both went into the club at the same time, I think Saucy Santana would get way more girls than academics. I think if Saucy Santana had to dress more feminine and, and, and try to be, and try to pass as a woman, he'd, he'd have way more chance. I swear to God. So him taking the piss out of someone like Saucy Santana and talking so bad about it, it's like, bro, like he looks better than you with a BBL and a beard and a dress. That's the weird thing. He Saucy Santana looks better than academics with a beard and a BBL and a dress. And academics looks like this. It's fucking crazy. And I go back to the statement. I go back to the statement that Charlemagne said, and I really do agree with him. Part of the reason why Act gets a lot of the hate that he gets, and part of the reason why someone like me, even though I'm a fan of his streams, can never take him too seriously when he starts barking and saying what his nonsense is like. We've seen him cry, right? The Jesus and Mirror thing is still the one that kind of makes me laugh, right? We've seen him cry on stream about people quote unquote bullying him or clapping back. We see him crying at the thought of, you know, Saucy Santana beating him up and then, you know, threatening to rape him, which is fucking crazy. We've seen him scream at girls and then get taken advantage of by this Shea woman. But I think ultimately, ultimately, when it comes to academics, the really sad thing about and the really hard thing he never really kind of got his head around is the fact that he's just too fat to like say the things that he's saying unfortunately in the world that we live in nowadays you just can't speak with a certain level of bass in your voice about certain things when you look the way he does and Charlemagne was right Charlemagne said this in the beginning like academics if he lost weight he would get he wouldn't get as much hate and I think it's true he just looks too much like a guy that you would just you know that meme the meme they have of like a chat nigger and it basically looks like academics, like with a burger and a henny next to them, like, you know, criticizing someone in the comments. That's what he looks like. He just looks too much like the quintess, you know, like the stereotypical commenter, right? The stereotypical neck beard, right? Basement dweller kind of guy that you can never take him too seriously when he says certain things about women, relationships, um, the streets, gang culture. You just never can take it seriously because it's like, hold on, we know what you look like. We know what you look like. <laughs> you know what I mean? it's like how can we take you seriously and i think that's a really sad thing because if he actually did make an effort to lose some weight and got himself into shape i think it would solve a lot of his issues even when it comes to like self-confidence and because you know there's a little bit of insecurity i think going on there but the fact that he's even dating this girl in the first place but i think that would actually you know save a lot of his fucking effort i think so but again what do i know <laughs> Again, before like you try to like talk. <laughs> such an old compromising position i know we all do it we've all been there but no one wants to be recorded on live stream <laughs> like this <laughs> i know we've all done it we've all been there right we've all had the fucking laptop on you know on its side as we're fucking lying in bed watching something we've all got our phone plastered on our face lying down i know we've all done this i know we all maybe are currently doing this right now hands in our fuck especially if you're a dude hands in your balls really warm and comfortable position maybe you got your hands on your chest and you're lying down whatever but you don't want to be on live stream like this man you don't want to be on live stream like this you really don't shit about me it's like why are you like i know you for real in real life <laughs> <laughs> he's getting up in fucking i love how you can uh, that's some real fat fat boy shit he's getting up in steps right that's some real fat boy shit like he's getting up in steps that's a guy that can't do 10 burpees look at that <laughs> <laughs> it's one more time. 
<laughs> He's getting up no, in phases. No, you for real in real life. <laughs> <laughs> one, more, one more time. One more time. Look him getting up in stages. I Look. know you for real in real life. <laughs> He's all he's all barefooted as well, no socks in the crib. <laughs> he's going for it. He's going for it. Prayer hands for academics in the chat. Prayer hands for academics in the chat. He's fucking going for it. Prayer hands for academics in the chat. Prayer fucking hands. Um, and then of course I saw this clip as well. This is fucking funny on the academics chat subreddit. This is fucking brilliant. And this basically describes him to a T. This is him basically trying to cope. And um, he does this quite often actually. Um, the gaslighting thing. Like he tries to, he tries to preemptively get in front of what you're trying to say about him. But then he would try and lean into it too heavy in a way of like, hey, if I say this about myself, you can't talk bad about me. It's like, mm, it doesn't work that way, bruv. Like, you still sound like a fucking idiot. But let's play this clip here so you can hear what he says. I'm like that. I'm sorry. Don't don't try to make up a persona for me. This is the problem with the internet. The internet think I'm trying to live <laughs> up to be this image. No, I'm just me. No, 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 no. You're, 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 you're not, you're not, you're not um, getting it right. We're laughing at who you are. We're not, we, no one's holding you to a certain... That's a funny thing he doesn't realise. No one's heard, holding him to a standard. They're just laughing at how lame he is. Like, that's it. Y'all are watching me. This is the academic's life. This is the academic show. <laughs> this ain't academics trying to... This is why, let me separate myself from like, listen, I don't got no course. Separate myself. I ain't got... I'm not fresh and fit. That way y'all be like, hey, he's this of a man. One day I'm a pimp, the next day I might be simping. It be Can you imagine admitting that? One day I'm a pimp, the next day I'm being simping. That doesn't make any sense, though, because if you're actually a pimp, you're not going to be a simp. They, they're two completely opposed, um, you know, point of views and ways of life. Like, they're completely different. There is no way to be a pimp and a simp at the same time. It doesn't exist. But obviously, when you're somebody that act, you can be that person because he also believes in you can be gangster and also be a snitch. It's like, mm, not really, though, isn't it? Because technically, one of the main kind of, you know, principles of being a fucking gangster is the fact that you don't snitch on the people that you do fucking illegal crimes with. The moment you do, it kind of takes you out of the running of saying you're real and saying that you're about this and whatever. That is what it is. But obviously, you know, this is academics talking about best friends of 6 9 it been like that. <laughs> I am nothing what y'all niggas should be saying. Ak is his perfect thing. Ak ain't shit. Ak sometimes is great. Ak is a bitch. Then Ak is a real nigga. All in one. Whatever day. What? What <laughs> Imagine admitting this. Sometimes I'm a bitch. Sometimes I'm a real nigga. Sometimes I'm a simp. Sometimes I'm a fucking pimp. <laughs> sometimes I'm a cuck. Sometimes I'm a slut. It's like, what? <laughs> Why are you admitting these things? <laughs> this is, these are not things that you should be proud of, bro. Whatever moment, I'm a different person. That's how it be. Don't put no expectations. Maybe he learn maybe learn to be one person though. You don't not every day you wake up being a different person. You know what I mean? You're not nineteen. You know what I mean? You're not trying to find yourself in fucking New Delhi or something. You're not backpacking through the through the through Southeast Asia. Like maybe at this age you should kind of know who you are. Maybe. <laughs> every day trying to be different. Like, what is this? Patient on me, I'm living my life. I don't get online saying, damn, niggas say you should be like, that's just what it is. This is why I can share my faults because I don't want y'all to never build me up to be something that y'all think that is infallible. You feel what No, and I hate how he does this thing about infallible. It's just people can't get, be myself included, being a fan of his, we can't comprehend how he talks about other people, how he talks about other women, how he talks about other people's relationships, and how he deals with his own. That's the thing that just doesn't make sense. It's like, huh? How can you talk so boldly and so much bass in your voice and be so critical and be so opinionated about other people when you're legitimately legitimately getting your pockets ran by this girl that looks like she's no older than what 22 23 i don't know how old she is maybe she's not older than 26 you're getting taken advantage of by this girl that's like i don't know under the age of 28 and she's literally running your pockets so how could you have such a big opinions about other people when you're getting simped like this?
Big up Austin Casey. I appreciate you, brother. Mac never watched Trudy Ray Moore, a.k.a. Dolomite. Dolomite was the king pimp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 Um, it's just lip service, these guys, man. They talk a big game online, but it's just lip service. It really is lip service. I swear to God. It really is fucking lip service. Um, but let's continue this. Big up the, um, Austin Casey. I appreciate you, brother. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I'm going to live my life. Because when I get online, I don't let y'all dictate it. I know I'm going to live my life and y'all consume it. The moment that y'all get tired or, or, or don't want to consume it anymore, y'all leave. The moment it's boring for y'all, y'all leave. So that's why I live my life how I want to live it. <laughs> let me simp in peace. <laughs> if I want to simp, if I want to crash out, let me do it in peace. It's like, yeah, we would. But then you don't let other people do it in peace. You know, that's the thing. He says that, but he doesn't let other people do it in peace. That's a weird thing. He can simp. He can cuck it. He can cuck as much as he wants. But when other people do it, it's suddenly it's not okay. It's like, come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. But then to make matters worse, to make matters worse, where is this video? To make matters worse, look at this clip. Look at this clip, courtesy of No Jumper and the Adam and Wax show. Look at this sad ass clip. <clears throat> that you didn't realize what it was. <laughs> he said what he said. He had to I'm zoom in, saying, maybe. I'm just being bleed like, what the fuck I was seeing. After <clears> all right, like, listen. Like, if it was a dog over there by the door, you would know that's a dog, right? Yeah, you know that's a dog, right? Yeah, for sure. If it was an ant crawling on the floor. You might not know. It's so small. So are you saying? I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying she caught my man off guard. I man. think it was, it had to have been caught off guard. She just caught my man. If you don't know what they're talking about, somehow WAC 100 has a picture, a dick pic of academics. Somehow he has a picture of academics' piece. You see how crazy things are getting? That fucking girl he's with, your big up high def, appreciate the super chat, brother. Cheers to 2024. R.I.P. Chin. What do you mean R.I.P. Chin? Is Chin dead? Or you mean R.I.P. for the show? If Chin died, that would be fucking hilarious, actually. If Chin actually did die, that would be so fucking funny. Because we'll see an immediate drop in the quality of fighting the kid. <laughs> if Chin died, we'd see an immediate drop in quality. An immediate drop in quality. An immediate drop. The audio would be shit. It wouldn't get uploaded on time. The tiles would be all fucked up. You see an immediate fucking dip. Immediately. <laughs> but big up high dip. Appreciate you. Let's go back to the clip. Man, it was ahead. just a bad pick. I'm shooting him from bail. What do you mean bad pick? What, what did Flacco say about when he was Flacco doing Flacco said, said he know I got real yard man. I know you're a real yard man. <laughs> did you show Flacco? <laughs> no. I, I'm telling you. So Flacco I only showed him. About that. I only showed him and he said. Yeah, you want to know the line of the plug reaction? Yeah. <laughs> what did your wife say? I won't tell you the exact words she Call said. Her, bro. No. I'm going to skip. Like, she skipped. For real, bro? Laughing at it and went straight to sympathy. She immediately was like, oh, poor Ag. <laughs> and that wait, is wait, why wait, I'm wait, saying wait, it's, wait. it's not a good thing. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Some of your biggest enemies, Adam, Adam, Adam being, you know, they like to pretend that they're cool, but academics and Adam aren't cool. But can you imagine your biggest enemy having a picture of having your dick pic and, you know, showing it to his wife and she being like, ah, oh, because what, he's got a micro penis or something, which obviously explains a lot about him, to be fair. The way he barks on stream and the way he's fucking always yelling, it does make sense that he'd have a fucking tiny dick. It does completely make sense, right? Really does, because that's definitely somebody that's, you know, incredibly insecure and trying to make up for all their own indeficiencies and shit. But Jesus Christ, look at what this woman's doing to him. Look at what this young lady, and again, that's what I'm saying, it's funny. This woman is like, what, under the age of 28. Look at how much hell she's creating for academics. Look at the hell she's, she's creating. She's terrorizing him in his home, She's beating up his fucking mum. She's shouting at him, exposing him online. And now somehow she has managed to get a fucking dick pic of him sent. Sent. Sent to his greatest enemies. Oh, no. it's, a, it's, a, it's a bad in, angle. Poor act as in that's fucked up sheet. Exposing him or poor act from what she was looking at. Poor act as in my wife is socially knowledgeable she knows how something might go over on a pr level 
And I think as soon as she saw it, she could kind of envision the uh, the Salem witch trials erupting over this picture. Call your wife, bro. I like to keep her out of this kind of stuff. That's the homegirl. She's going to be mad. She that said, I didn't what? call her? She said, what? Anything you ever need on the show, tell me, hit me. Come on, bro. Like, Lena would not get mad at me for almost anything content-wise, but I feel like she, she would. Fuck with what? She would get mad at me if I tried to involve her in this. No, she would. Yes, yeah, she, she would actually be annoyed because she, she may be a porn <clears throat> star. She is like the nicest person ever. Then I have a solution. She's for that. not a mean person, and she would never be mean about that something I think like this. All the fans watching think she work. What? I understand what you're saying. Let a black guy call her. Him? Yours truly. Let a black guy call her. She seems to respond well to black guys. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. I them. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh. So in this whole mess, in this whole mess, Wack is trying to get his dick sucked by fucking Lena. In this whole mess, Wack is trying to find a way to get his dick wet. Look at these people, man. Look at these people. Look at these people. God almighty, bro. Just the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of feeders, isn't it? It's just... Oh, <laughs> Adam, re Adam realizing like mid conversation what's happening here. <laughs> Whack wants to fuck your wife, yes. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's like, what? She seems to respond well to black guys. It's fucking insane. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Let me call and ask her. I don't know. Why's your phone ringing? What are you doing? I don't know, man. Some fucking people from Freehold, New Jersey. I don't know who the fuck that is. They haven't heard that. Let a black guy ask. Worst thing she could do is say, whack, fuck off. And I'm not going to say, no, that's the homegirl. Let me ask her. Let the black guy ask her. Okay. I can't. She's really going to be mad at me. She can maybe edit this out. Guy asks, okay, but I have to give her the warning that we're live. Say, the black guy's going to ask you a question. Let me just give her the warning. Prep her. Warm her up for the black guy asking the question. Pause. Don't warm her up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you have an issue. You have an issue with the that that saying is the thing you want to take pause on, not him. Basically, anyway. Whatever. <laughs> you will not be warming my wife up, huh, Miss. All has been forwarded to. Anyways, anyways, you get you get the gist, right? Um, there's also another clip here that I just seen. Actually, there's actually a fresh one about fucking where is it? There's actually a fresh one with this other girl now that's come out of the woodwork saying some fucking shit. Honestly, this guy's life is a fucking horror show. Academics' life with women is a fucking horror show. It really fucking is a fucking horror show. Um, let's see here. I don't know what this is about. This seems a bit fishy. Look at this. R.I.P. Baby Ack. Who the fuck is this? So what? Is that Che Girl actually pregnant? God almighty. It's a it's a screenshot from Academics' Discord, I'm assuming. Is that Academics' profile on there? And we see here an ultrasound. From when? From the 3rd of the 10th. Or the, sorry, the 10th of the 3rd. So yeah, okay, maybe this is a... This was an abortion? Was, was this an abortion? Like... I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. Does academics have a little critter as well? Fucking hell. I have no idea what's going on here. The cat the, the title says RIP baby act. I'm assuming maybe this baby got aborted, maybe, who knows? But can you imagine academics being a being a dad, being a father, having to look after an, an actual human baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh god anyway i want to play this video this one i want to play this one this is the one i want to play this video no hold on, hold on. No, is it that one no it's this one which one is it yeah let, let's play this one this is the longest one right let's see this what should, what should you say here what I'm some girl called parrot so so again i guess because Ak has basically shown himself to be a bit of a simp and a cuck. It feels like a lot of these girls 
are probably lying, but they're obviously trying to extort him, I feel like. A lot of these like, allegations, they kind of feel a little bit like, like even that girl that put out the text of like, as damaging as it is for him to say, when are you turning 18? It is obviously, it sounds crazy and it looks wild. It's also a bit of a, an embarrass, it's also a bit of a kind of, a, a tactic to embarrass you more and maybe to get you to maybe send him money as opposed to like oh look at him as a pedo because he didn't really do anything right even though it's still disgusting i would never do that i still think it's one of those things where these girls are smelling blood and they're going for the kill because they've seen the academics could get got right they've seen he could get got because i feel like academics is one of the type of dudes who can be convinced into sending some girl money not to like say an embarrassing story about him. I'm sure he can be. So I think a lot of these young girls are realizing that, okay, cool. I can get some clout from this. I can maybe get a, you know, a cash app sent to me. I'm going to fucking say something. So let's see what this guy has to say. A girl called Paris Hiltron. Let's hear her. I'm going to do now. Cause I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to just put it all out here. I'm going to end this live. I'm going to tag DJ Academics in the next live in about a couple of seconds. It's a bit low. I don't know why. Sorry. It's really low. Because I think that it's time for us to get into some tea time. I'm going to start from day one. From the second he got me the black truck, to the second I got to the airport, to the second he had somebody come get me, to the second it was a young bitch in the car. Young bitch in the car. Bitch is young as fuck. 17-year-old girl in a black truck with me. But you still fucked him though, right? So why is this, why is this a concern? Why, I don't know. This is an odd thing, man. These exposing of like these sexual encounters when you were down with them at the time and then now you're coming back and saying like what is the purpose of this so he you you went to go meet him he flew you out somewhere um you was impressed by the black truck because you keep mentioning it a million times and in the car was what a 17 year old but you still went through with it isn't that more on you <laughs> it's like <laughs> what do you want us to do with this information 23 years old we both going to the same place why am I going to the same place as you and you're 17? So you finna come see academics too? Yeah. Is what you doing? You're there as you well. You finna see academics too. <sighs> so you know what? You know what I'm finna do? I'm finna go ahead. I'm finna end this live. And I'm finna go ahead. I'm finna start up the new live. And I'm finna tag DJ Academics. DJ Academics, I'm just finna put it all out on the floor. I don't have, I don't give, I don't really. Why do you think he goes for these type of girls though? Because they bring him so much headache. What do you think it is? Do you think this is a kink? Do you think he slightly has a bit of an embarrassment fetish? Do we think that maybe when he was in school, these are the girls he always kind of lusted after, but they like they liked the bad boys? Why do you think he tends to go for these type of ladies who seem to be very street smart? Super young, but very street smart. The kind of girls that could, you know, get you set up. The kind of girls that would kind of, you know, swipe your card and shit. Why do you seem? Why do you? Why do you think he seems to go for these type of ladies? It's very weird. Really give a fuck. So I'm saying you don't fucking scare me. You don't scare me, bitch. Nothing that you do scares me. So let's get. No, yeah, Ad Adriana. No, I, I don't think they're hood book. I don't think they're hood rats. They're level above. Like there's hood rats and there's level above. Because I think when we turn to talk about hood rats, I think of like just you know girls just on the block there's a level of a girl that's like a hood like a level above maybe a maybe a sophisticated hood rat that's able to kind of get money out of guys because i think some hood rats are just like bums as well but i think there's a level above where they're like they get driven around they get given bags um you know they somebody pays for their hair and nails and shit there's that kind of level of a hood rat where they're just a lot more like clocked on and they can sometimes get a lot out of guys without even fucking them that's the really clever bit about some of these girls. They're not even like, it's not even like a sexual exchange. It's like, nah, they can get a lot out of the guy just by making him feel like a king without even having to fucking, you know, tug his meat, which is a fucking talent. Yeah, let's cut down to the, to, the, to the chase. Yes, he knew she was 17. The girl showed me her fucking ID in the car. He knew that that girl was 17 years old. He knew that the girl was 17. DJ Academics, and you keep playing these games, like, he keep playing these games, you know, like, oh my God, you know, I, I, I would never do anything to a young girl. You thought I was 18. You thought I was 17, 18 years old. You asked me, you said, are you? <laughs> okay, now it's getting dicey. <laughs> now it's getting dicey. What, so he's into girls that look younger? 
Now it's getting dicey. Now it's getting a little bit dicey. 17? <laughs> Are you 18? I'm 23. Why would you think I'm 17, 18? Uh, Academics? Where did you get that from? Who told you I was 17? 17? Really? You think I'm 17, Academics? Seriously? Why do you want me to be 17 so bad? What do you mean, seriously? You do look kind of young, though. To be fair, she does look kind of young. So... I wouldn't think she was 17. Maybe I think she was 18, 19, but she was kind of young. Why do you want my grown oversized ass? You got braces in. Come on, bro. Like, braces are big in the... Like, the only people that have braces on are kids or, like, guys trying to pretend like they look like kids. You know, like... And usually those guys are probably the guys that stand outside school, you know, school gates and shit. And they don't have kids. To be 17. Why do you want me to be 17, DJ Academics? Why? Why do you want me to be 17? That's fucking dis disgusting. You want me to be 17? Nah. Nah. Y'all know what's crazy? He tried to bri he tried to get me to, to he tried to put some money in my hand too to not say nothing to nobody. I don't want that fucking money. You feel me? That money don't mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a couple thousand. I don't give a fuck about the money. Hmm. X for doubt on that one. I don't need a couple thousand. That's what y'all don't understand. You feel me? I think that I'm, I'm just going to do it. I don't give a fuck about this nigga DJ Academics. There's nothing that that nigga can do to me that's, that's going to scare me. These other bitches are fucking scared. He got his bitch hitting him up and shit, texting him and shit, talking about leave my nigga alone and I'm pregnant. I don't give a fuck about you being pregnant, bitch. What the fuck that got to do with me? You're pregnant, but do you know that your nigga talk to 17-year-old girls? Who's to say that he won't touch your baby? Who's to say that when you push your baby out, who's the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the leap from going to interested to young girls into like being an actual kiddie fiddler is fucking wild, isn't it? That's a big leap. Don't get me wrong. Both are ob obscene, but just because you like younger looking girls, it doesn't mean you're going to fucking fondle toddlers. Like what? <laughs> Come on, man. Like we're... we're, we're, we're I just think that it's time. Like, I just think that it's fucking time. Like, and I understand, you feel me? I, Chad said only, only person that's supposed to academics is her. Y'all got to fight. Get the fuck on. Get the fuck on. Chad can get her ass whooped. I can get somebody to whoop Chad. Okay, I don't care. These girls are talking shit. I don't care. Has a crime been committed? No. Um, some nastiness went down. You were obviously involved in the nastiness. You were in a car with a 17 year old going to fucking Academics' house. I'm sure you didn't go there to play fucking Uno or something or spades or fucking chess. You all probably got your freak on threesomes and shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, if you regret it now, you regret it. It is what it is. But, you know, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Um, <laughs> move the fuck on. Honestly, man. Some people just dying for fucking attention.